Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken Eels from for Rail and Roof. Today is Wednesday, September 17th, 2014 AD. That's right. And I'm here on Facebook, and I came across this on the Canon's site. Uh, this is not a Canon lens, which you're looking at. This is a Sigma, which means you there is a Canon version uh, and a Nikon version of this lens, which, by the way, I think looks pretty cool. Uh, I mean, as far as lenses go, this looks amazing. Um, I'm very impressed with the aesthetic appeal of this lens. Um, what it is, it is a Sigma 150-600mm to 600 millimeter F5-6.3 to 6 .3 DG OS HSM sports lens, which you can pre-order right now for $1,999, for $2,000. You can pre-order this lens. Uh, it says the new announced Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter f 5 to 6.3 DG OS HSM sports lens now available for pre-order at, at Adorama. Uh, the price for this lens is <coughs> for this. It says nine. Okay, there it is. Uh, the price for this lens is currently available for is nineteen ninety nine. Currently available for Canon, for Canon mount, Nikon mount, and Sigma mount. So you got three choices. If you got if you got a Canon camera, a Nikon camera, or a Sigma camera, you can order that that your, this lens for that camera specifically. In other words, you can't just buy one lens and use it on all three cameras. If you have a Canon Canon camera, you have to order the Canon mount. If you have a Nikon, you have to order a Nikon mount. If you have a Sigma, you have to order a Sigma mount. So there's three variations of this lens that look exactly the same, except they just fit on different cameras. Basically, is the difference. Um, having said that, that, this lens looks really cool. I mean, I just like the looks of it. There is the only thing I really I'm not sure about is the um, it looks it's got a dial on there, so it looks like the um, um, the tripod mount can come off, which is what I would want to, because I would be doing a lot of handheld with this lens if I had it. Um, so it looks like it, you can twist it and it can come off, which is good. But I just, I just really, I, I really like the way this lens looks. Um, I mean, for a lens that has to be that long, um, it looks really perfect. I mean, where the where the uh, plastic or glass? I'm not sure about the plastic or glass covering those the dial the uh, range focus range, but um, it looks really neat. Whether it's glass or plastic, I, I assume it's probably glass, especially for a price of two thousand it ought to be. But um, it looks really cool. It just it really does look cool. And can you take take off that tripod mount and use it handheld? That would look. I mean. Man, you can go to sport events and get some really good stuff with that. Um, at least I imagine. Um, I've had some Tamron lenses in the past. Or, uh, or excuse me when I say Tamron. Uh, I have had some Tamron. Um, I have had some Sigma lenses also as well in the past. When I was shooting 35mm. Uh, uh, when I was shooting film. And they did pretty good. So I really... I uh, can't complain about that, and I would, um, I would love to get my hands on this lens to play with, but it's a good-looking lens, and um, although, like I said, for two thousand bucks, you're gonna be you're gonna be shelling out some money for it. So, but if you're gonna be doing sports or wildlife, this might be the lens for you. Uh, it looks really, like I said, sports and wildlife, one hundred fifty to six hundred. Can you imagine with? Uh, Either a 1.4 or a two times teleconverter. Added onto that, you can go up to, you can take it anywhere up to 300 to 1200 with a two times. So you can really use them for off shots. And with today's cameras and their high shutter speeds and their uh, high ISOs, the combination, of, it's really amazing what you can do with a lens like this. Um, so, I just want to make this uh, available to you. Um, Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter f5 to 6.3 uh, 
uh, DG, OS, HSM, Sports Lens. I mean, they're calling it a Sports Lens. That's part of the title. So, um, that's what I, little, I saw. I said, I, I just, I gotta make a video about this because it does. It looks neat. Uh, it's, I just like the look of it. I really do. And uh, I'm assuming it's a twist lens. It's not a push pull. It's a twist based on the size of that one. Uh, so um, I could be wrong, but it looks like a twist instead of a push pull. So I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a twist. Um, more likely than not, it is a twist. So, with that in mind, I think I'll end the video by saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. And as always, keep taking those pictures. Bye. Tasha says bye too.